Team Kill Podcast. Intentional strays. Welcome back, everybody, to the Team Kill Podcast. My name is Killing Spree 37. And my name is Silencer. And this is episode 11, guys, the podcast where friends catch intentional strays. But before we even do that, guys, we're going to go ahead and talk about our past weekend. Silencer, how was your weekend, buddy? It was uh, it was better than last week. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a um, something happened, something, I guess, funny at the shop. It, it involves an old lady. God bless so- her heart. What, what does she throw it back for you, buddy? In the spirit of Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> no, she. Uh, so she basically went to uh, to other shops, and then she had problems with her AC. And um, basically, the other assholes fucking quoted her to change some components, like the compressor and shit, for AC to work. Right. Mind you, this old this lady is old and possibly in her 80s, so she's not. You know, her mind's not all there. She's nice, very cool, lighthearted. So <clears throat> when she tells me to check it, I check it. And, uh, you know, there was nothing wrong with it. And the only thing I found wrong is that she was not pressing the button to activate the compressor. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> the AC button? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, the, my so, thing is, how would, like, old people don't like ACs, bro. They like fireplaces and heaters. Yeah, but you know, you living in Texas, you gotta have that AC ready. Oh yes, you do. That shit gets fucking hot as fuck. So AC is a necessity here. Listen, so, I'm a little, I'm a little tired of you Texans, bro. <laughs> I saw because we fucking we're superior. Listen, no, superior, nothing. <laughs> you guys lack creativity, if anything. I sent Silencer a picture of a pallet of watermelons, and me put it on the podcast so they can see it. Yeah, I'll post it up right here. You guys can see it. Um, it's a pallet of watermelons, guys. I sent it to him because it looked like a graphic that he would do and a name that he would come up with (laughs) if he were to own a couple acres of a watermelon field. Let me tell you, this watermelon brand is called (laughs) Watermelon. It's not to be confused with Whataburger. Um, and not only that, the A for the Wada. The second A, not from not the one in the what, the A that's just by itself. They used it as like the star, the tip of the star, the Texas star, and I'm like, oh, this is Silencer, bro. This has to be Silencer's graphic. He did this Texan strong. Oh, I was like, I'm so sick of you Texans. What a what a crock of shit is what it is, bro. You're just a fucking what a hater is what you're sounding yeah, like what? right now. <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> oh, guys, we got we got some new drops, huh? I know you, we started off the podcast. You guys like that? We got the we got the intro. We got this one right here. Headshot. The headshot one. Hit marker. Hit marker in case a, a joke kind of lands. You know, it's not enough for a headshot, but it it hit. You know, it still counted. We got the one v one. One v one. Yeah, we got buddy. that one. We got it. Well, you know, for for when I take silence here to homie court, we call that one v one. They got game over. Game over. When it's when it's when rapid fire is done, a winner is announced. A high score is revealed. Oh um, yeah, man. Production, like I said, production is stepping up. I'm working on getting a microphone and stuff, and the whole, you know, we're just getting we're getting there, guys. We're getting there slow by slow. Um, besides. The new drops, I was a little bit of, of my weekend was uh, the struggles of getting these drops. Uh, shout out to guy, the guy that did it on Fiverr. Uh, Fiverr gets such a bad rap, but this guy actually did an amazing job and did exactly what I wanted. So he kudos for that, bud. Um, let me tell you, I know that I'm getting older uh, when I'm afraid to go to bed, Silencer. <laughs> oh, that's not even the case. Fucking old people love fucking going to bed. No, 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 no. They like going to bed at like 7, 6 o'clock, you know, in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, me, well, I don't know if it's if it's getting older or if it's like, I don't know exactly if it's like, I haven't had this issue in a while. Um, I, I was sleeping peacefully these past two days. Mm-hmm. I want to say that it was October 2nd and October 3rd. Uh, I woke up in such a scare. And in pain, silencer. Can you guess what my pain was, buddy? Fucking your back. Nah, nah, 
Skin, it was it was my girlfriend handicapped me. I tried no, no, not that old. <laughs> Look in the the show oh. while hitting your fucking life alert. No, 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 no. That's that's within reach. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not like Xbox people that got to steal batteries out of life alerts. You know, mine still works. Um, <laughs> man, I had the most vicious leg cramps, bro, of all time. Like cramps where toes, like my calf to like ankle to like the front of the ankle. My toes were curling in pain. And oh, I'm over yeah, there waking yeah. up my girlfriend. Wake up! Wake up! Help! <laughs> like I'm getting <laughs> fucking murdered, stabbed. Let me tell you, these are the worst adult pains, bro. That's like, and I hate to say this because I haven't experienced it myself. But that, dude, that's up there with childbirth. I'm sorry. That is up there with childbirth. Like, we don't have a uterus or like a vagina that gets stretched and broken. Bro, we could, this pain right here, bro, is just like, oh my, it sucked, bro. I woke up these pats, so I woke up that one day, immobilized, unable to walk or do anything, and then the I next, the it was uh, the first one uh, took about, I want to say three or four minutes, and then the second one, my, my lady actually caught on to it pretty fast and was able to like help me. Uh, within like the first minute or two of it, but man, those uh, those first those first couple seconds of you getting it, bro. I might even get one tonight. Even like I'm scared to go to bed right now. <laughs> I'm yeah, all chicken water and stretch, stretching. You should never have to stretch, bro, before sleeping. A physical activity, yes. You know, sleeping. <laughs> I gotta stretch. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stretch, stretch to go take a shit too. Oh, oh my. <laughs> That was my number one fear, too, driving into work was like, bro, I hope I don't get a crap on my way there. I'm going to crash I'm if I, you know, if yeah. I get a crap, bro. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Imagine that shit. Yeah, I've had oh. a few of those happen to me, but it wasn't extend like that. Just those where your fucking toe or your fucking pinky just curl up and it goes away. Oh, no. But it was like the entire, crazy, the entire cat. And my lady looks at me like, like, I she understands imagine. it now. She, she understands it now, right? But when we first met, she had no clue that these cramps, like, she probably, you probably thought you were exaggerating or whatever, but these, yeah. man, these cramps just suck, bro. Oh, my. So I had that <laughs> these past couple of days. The DJ drops, of course. Um, I I just got done doing the Ultimate Creator Fighter thing uh, that's on for my channel. It's a tournament that I was talking to you about. People could win money. Uh, I have the most hardest time trying to give somebody free money and i do not understand why i, I mean I, uh, they thought it was some people were like it's a scam bro you're just using us to to get uh info it's not a shut the fuck up it's not a scam i i clearly stated i wanted to record this for to put on my channel right as a thing that i wanted to do yeah. you guys get this money and then we'll figure stuff out okay uh, the winner, we got a winner. I won't announce the winner. Uh, I won't go too much into the detail about the tournament until, uh, it's over. Uh, well, we'll tell I upload it and stuff, but uh, man, it was just so hard to get, to get a couple people in there just to fight for some money for free money. No entry, nothing. How many people got in it in total? Originally it was 16 and then it dropped down to eight. Okay. And then on um, today, it dropped yeah. to a different number uh, that I, I won't really get into, but it was a really low number that kind of uh, hurt, to be honest with you. And I had to go headhunting, and luckily I had a few people on standby, and uh, I was able to do some type of uh, tournament. The tournament went down. Uh, people won. People got money. I was happy with the end result, but, man, the beginning of it was a real struggle good shit yeah it just it just goes to show bro like what bill gates says like people just don't uh take opportunities when they need them you know <laughs> they they like complain him? yeah they complain about like uh not getting donations on their uh stream and stuff when i'm really to, willing to give you a 100 bucks for one fight that you have to win so it didn't work it didn't work out the way i wanted it to but it worked out nonetheless uh and that's going to be coming really soon to the channel so that's how my weekend was so far. Uh, but 
you know, like I said, I got this drop sensor. Oh, so, yeah, what does that mean? You know what time it is now, right? It's time for you to catch these L's. Nah, it's about it's, it's about <laughs> time you fight back, Sounder. We're about to get into a rapid fire. Rapid, rapid fire. Oh, Players yeah. ready up. Uh, oh, ready, ready. You want buddy boy. Two. One. Sounder's costume every year for Halloween is a U.S. citizen. <laughs> this was favorite sport is cross country. Oh my. Hit marker. This fool Caesar recycles candy he gets from birthday pinatas and gives it to <laughs> trick-or-treaters. Headshot. This is what it's time to go trick-or-treating and wears a poncho to look like a broken condom at the end of the day. Oh my. Headshot. Silencer was that kid with a mouthful of silver caps for meeting so many candy. Oh. Headshot. This one looks like he waits after everybody leaves the elevator to inhale all the farts. Damn. Hit marker. <laughs> <laughs> When they told Silencer it was tradition to smash a pumpkin, he lost his virginity to it. Oh, time! Time! Over. <laughs> Game over. Oh, my. Kill a killing spree! It was a very good night. Let's go. That was, that was decent. I forgot to say, guys, we were working on a Halloween-themed rapid fire. Um, we're going to be doing that pretty much all month long. And uh, kind of with the holidays, you got Thanksgiving, you got December, uh, Christmas and stuff. So that's going to really work out really well. But all month long, we're going to be trying to focus on Halloween-themed rapid fires. I hope it works out. You know, we're giving the podcast a new facelift, Silencer, right? Giving it yes, a new sir. facelift. And uh, speaking of people getting their face lifted, uh, Spider-Man, the PS5 remastered, gets a different character model. For Spider Man's Peter Parker, and people are losing their mind. Silencer, did you see this? <clears throat> I'm about to check it right now. I heard about Let it, but me... I haven't seen the actual. It's like actual... a big difference, bro. Like the first one, it kind of uh -huh. looked like the the Andy Andrew whatever character from the Spider Man they got canceled, and then it yeah. kind of goes into like a Tom Holland type of character. But on September 30th, people were surprised when it was announced. Uh, they had new additions, and they had uh, new additions to the game for the remake, uh, the remastered version for the PS5, uh, including the overhaul of Peter Parker's character model. Uh, it re you know, it received intense backlash on social media uh, for the simple reason why they did it. Can you Boy. guess why they did it? Uh, no clue. They had to recast because they needed a better match to his facial capture to bring into the next gen performance. That sounds dumb as fuck. Why the fuck couldn't do the old one? I have no clue. And the guy that was the voice and the character, uh, person, the, the facial capture person, actually yeah. tweeted out and he said, Guys, it's my face's fault. The stupid bones in my face blame my bones. They were going after Insomniac Games, throwing them <laughs> under the bus, said they had no clue what it was, and Insomniac Games was just in there fighting back, bro, was like in the comment section pissing off these people. Uh, it was crazy, bro. Like there's threads of them just like firing on people like yo shut up that's not the real reason <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i don't i don't see why people are mad it's just i don't know at the end it's just a fucking character to me at least it's just i mean i don't see why they would need a new you know person to do all the bullshit they had to do but i think they just want to try and give it a new fresh look a, a new fresh look yeah for next gen yeah i believe that too yeah and, you know, what I, what I was also thinking, too, is who the hell wants a remastered game of, like, the same shit? If, like, people were already complaining, well, we, we, we already got this. We already got Spider-Man 1. Why do we want it again? A new addition, a new character to feel different. The story yeah. might might have some different changes to it. Um, but, man, like, these guys were just going insane, slamming Sony. Um dislike in the video pensions and i mean petitions were made uh, so my question to you another question is um you're the actor okay okay uh they do this bullshit to you okay they do 
They switch you up. They put you in the middle. Um, you, are you getting another bag from that? What do you mean they put me in the middle? They're putting you – like, they didn't put you in the middle <clears throat> per se. But Insomniac Games, uh, Sony Spider-Man, you as the voice actor of Spider-Man or the character model uh, for Spider-Man, uh, you are – you know, you're, you're, they're giving you a new character, face, model, whatever. Uh, are you getting more money from that, you think? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I think it's just going to be the same fucking salary they, they gave them. Like, no no extra dough, imagine? I mean, I don't know. It's kind of, you know how game developers are. We don't have a strict budget for this, blah, blah, blah. You want to take the deal or not? But it's your, I don't face, know. It's in just... a, but it's your face in a video game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, there has to be a, a deal, but I don't know. It's weird with all the fucking... It must be some kind of shit that went behind. Contractual, huh, you think? Yeah, like I mean, It was like a little asterisk. Oh, if we change yeah. your character down the line, <laughs> we, yeah. could, we could do it without asking your permission. <laughs> and you yeah, would have you know, to come like, in again. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, I don't know how some contracts are. You know how they're fucking scammy and shit? They're like, oh, we have the ability to change anything in the future. It's basically um, the rights uh, to do as they please of having that content or certain idea. So I don't know. It's one of those things where they might have, but I'm sure if he signed a contract with those terms and use, they can do whatever the fuck they want with them. Or whatever they And still they not want. get extra. Yeah. yeah. I kind of felt the same way. I was hoping that it wouldn't lead to that, but you never know. Um, let me tell you, because this is going to go in directly to the next topic. Sony should have learned from Microsoft. I know I shouldn't be saying that, okay? I know, trust me. I know they shouldn't be saying that, but they should have learned from Microsoft uh, because what Microsoft did right now is completely insane. They announced <clears throat> a, a new character in Super Smash Brothers. Well, a flurry of new characters, so to speak, in the new Smash Brothers. Uh, for the, um, you know, ultimate DLC uh, package. So, they actually put the main character and a bunch of other characters um, mm -hmm. in the game Minecraft as a <laughs> DLC package. And they put them in Super Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. I only bring that up because it's literally a few pixels in a fucking block-shaped guy. <laughs> They literally put him in the game <laughs> next gen, and they're like, "Oh, look, it's Steve from from Minecraft." <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean. Why is this something that they have to learn from it? Listen, because they literally this is just crying for help. Minecraft. You know when Minecraft came out? It came out like the two thousands. Like it was like the old blank yeah, but year that they came out with Minecraft. Is, but this is fucking Minecraft going to. Nintendo be like, hey, we probably need more um, more market share or just help to get in the market. So let's do a little deal and put our characters in your shit so we can, uh, you know, get it on. Well, that's exactly what they did. So on October 13th, uh, that will be available. You're going to have fighters from Minecraft such as Steve, Alex, the zombie, Steve. and the Enderman. <laughs> Fucking Steve. That's the main protagonist, the main guy you start out with. Uh, the the moves look insanely familiar. If you played Minecraft, have you ever seen Minecraft? Your little nephew watched it in front of you? Yeah. Yeah. It looked. I played Minecraft, too. I did a few videos on Minecraft. Uh, it's a very fun slash boring game. Uh, it's funny because, like, just, like, the whole the whole trailer, if you watched it, uh, just gave you the Minecraft feels and saw exactly what they could bring into the game. A different aspect. The announcement actually broke Twitter uh, for a few minutes. They actually crashed Twitter uh, because everybody was going over like super insane about it. And um, the actual um, like talks about him being put in the game uh, was just recently announced. It was about five years in the making that they actually wanted to put him in the game. That's wild. Wild. So, I'm excited. It looks nice. Uh, I don't have a Nintendo Switch, but anything could happen. I do love Smash Brothers, though. That's one of the few games that I uh, did. Yeah, I agree. And 
it, it, it kind of goes with what Silencer says. You know, if you can't beat them, join them. Uh, they couldn't beat them in uh, cells for uh, the Switch, so they uh, they joined them and uh, they're combining forces. <laughs> you can tell they're combining with those pixelated ass. Combining them, buddy. <laughs> pixelated, um, you know, it just sounds like the uh, the Halo pixelated graphics for the next gen. Right. Yeah, it, look, it looks nice. <laughs> It looks nice. Uh, it's going to be available for the Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume Two. Uh, it will be available for five ninety nine. And uh, if you cheap. haven't seen the trailer, yeah, hella cheap for like four characters. Uh, it was cool. They had like lava. They had like a train track. Um, just like a bunch of little like little moves. Like it was just very Minecrafty and some new stages and stuff that they had. So it's going to be very interesting to see that in you know added into the game. Uh, I'm excited to see it actually, and I'm excited to see the the gameplay for that. So what you're saying is that you might pop and get a uh, uh, a switch. I, I might I might you know order one and then say it never got here and then just play it and then like keep it. <laughs> that's what I would do. So you know I, I that's how I would do. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, now, there's, there's something I want to talk to you about, and this is where we can both shine some light. I just wanted to talk about that because it was something that I saw that was like, man, that's crazy that they put it in there. Yeah. Um, Apex Legends, new event. How are you excited about this? And um, what are your thoughts so far on what you've seen so far? It's, uh, it looks pretty cool. Now, okay. better than fucking season six. Well, it's still season six overall. Yeah, well, overall. overall, what they've done so far. Because I mean, when season six dropped, the skins were kind of trash, and I don't know. Overall, the game just felt like nothing new was popping up. You know, even though it's a new season. Right. So with this one, I think it's gonna be a good addition with the skins, and um, I'm excited to play that new the new mode. To be honest with you. Right. So. Yeah, I don't know. Overall, I'm excited for it to see how how it goes. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely interested in seeing it because, uh, man, uh, let me tell you, I'm a little bit bored of uh, Apex, to be honest with you. Uh, we've been on Minecraft, not Mine <laughs> Minecraft, we've been on <laughs> Warzone uh, for quite a bit, actually, for a couple um, couple weeks, maybe two weeks. We've been playing yeah. um, that game just in particular because it did feel repetitive. Uh, no new content. The new modes were just extremely uh, repetitive dry. and dry. There were the, the same things that they gave you in season four, season five. Um, now they're they're starting to listen. They're starting to do stuff. The cool the skins look extremely cool. Uh, we'll, we'll get into my favorite part of from the trailer, but the flashpoint uh, limited time mode uh, looks extremely fun. Extremely fun. Well done. Uh, I do want to get into the skins. How did you think of the... What did you think of the skins that they showed? The skins look dope. The only one I didn't really like was the Gibby one. Other than that, I think... The, the look... motorcycle guy? Yeah. <laughs> that one, yeah. It, it looks kind of cool. The little transformer. I don't know. It looks kind of fucking... It, it looks like it doesn't fit his persona. Yeah. It, it would have been more like an Octane. Yeah. That like cars just and lowriders and stuff. Yeah, Octane's I saw one. Cool. For some yep. reason, they added like a a fucking cat theme for some weird reason. Fucking Octane's helmet and then Wraith's and uh, they put the little hood on Revenant. Right. Yeah, I seen the Revenant's like a, a more of a smoother, rounded face. Uh, yeah. The legendary Void Prowler skin, which is for Wraith. Uh, looks pretty dope. I don't get the, the theme, you know, necessarily. And uh, it's not very Halloween-y to me. I would have preferred more Halloween-type skins rather than uh, uh, whatever her face is, a Rampart-inspired uh, costume. Uh, on the other side of the spectrum, you had the legendary killing skin joke, which was a caustic skin. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's an instant cop for me. It looks really nice. It gives me Payday 2 uh, vibes, uh, like an old-school robbery guy. It looks really nice. Uh, they added a lot of detail into it. And, of course, you would add a lot of detail to your favorite um, character because you're giving him his fucking heirloom. <laughs> that shit was badass. 
Let me tell you, I almost pissed myself, bro. I almost pissed myself when you sent me the the screenshot because I saw the thing and I was like, eh, that's cool. It looks kind of cool. I saw the skin. I was like, yo, I'm going to have to check this out during break. And then, like, during break, you had sent me the thing and I was like, oh, bro, like, it's serious. Like, why am I getting a bunch of messages from people? I was like, oh, bro, you didn't see? And then you sent me the thing and I'm like, no fucking way, bro. It's a fucking sledgehammer. Heirloom. Oh, my. Fucking yeah, it looks dope. nice. It looks yeah, nice. Cool. Yeah, the animation looks extremely well. Uh, the concept in general, like, I, I think me and you uh, and Dill were actually talking, right, about the concept of yeah, what yeah. it could be. And we kind of said something like it was going to be like a brain or something. It wasn't just going to be like a sledgehammer. It was going to be like some type of uh, overall design on the thing. And I actually liked the way that it looked. And I uh, yeah. can't wait to, you know, spend my entire paycheck on it. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Not your entire paycheck. <laughs> this fool. <laughs> he said not the entire I, paycheck. I mean, depends how many fruit you pick from the field this week. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, it? my. Hold on. There's a bunch of fucking commercials just playing, um, playing for this fucking shit. Um, but, yeah, that looked nice. The heirloom looked nice. Uh, the mode looked extremely well. It's. Um, did you um, did you see the skin for her lifeline? Yeah, and I was just about to tell you that that didn't fit her her character, like you said, with uh, these other people. I think that was more of a Bangalore. Uh, yeah, exactly. Skin. Search and breach, or what is it? Breach and clear. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a more of a Bangalore. Sue, I don't necessarily think that uh, it should have went to Lifeline. It's a it's yeah. a nice skin, but it's it's not her. You know, it's not it's, it's not her true. her thing. They, you know, they try to force a lot of things on her. They they gave her the the drumsticks as an heirloom. Like that's that was really stupid. Um, mm-hmm. And then they gave her this skin, which is kind of stupid too. So I'm kind of disappointed in that. But you know, we'll see how it looks in game and. Um, this is definitely 100%, uh, well, 90%, probably the last collection event that I do, though. What, because you're going to get the heirloom already? Yeah. I'm going to get the heirloom and stuff. Um, what else do they have? The stupid charms and all that bullshit. The They're charms. also bringing crossplay. Yeah, they had charms, crossplay. Yes! We're going to talk about crossplay right now. Uh, the crossplay beta. Predict it right now. Uh, what console is getting mollywopped? Or what uh, Yeah, what console device, PC, Xbox, or uh, PS4, is getting mollywopped? And who is going to be the first to complain about uh, who? Go for it. Give me your predictions. Uh, it could be both ways, but I think that console players are going to start to complain just right. because mouse and key have a advantage but pc players don't have the the auto aim feature thing that consoles do so i see i, I that, see that too yeah that, yeah so there's there, it could go both ways but i feel like console players are going to start complaining but it also opens the door for hackers Egg. So, exactly we'll see how it goes let me tell you we will see there was already there was already a notion that pc players hack right yeah. Uh, you have console players getting strike packs and uh, modded remotes. Now, I don't think modded remotes are necessarily cheating, but, you know, to each their own, however people want to call it. Um, yeah. But when I heard that it was going to be a online cross-play beta between PC and the other consoles, I immediately got flashbacks of um, Warzone. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to air their shit out here next, but since we're on this topic, um, I, I think it's going to be what it is now for Fortnite. You had PC players becoming extremely arrogant, um, losing, and uh, PC players slowly dying down and complaining about uh, controller players because of auto-aim. Yeah. The aim assist, whatever. It's It happens in every game. Uh, luckily, this is a beta, but just like the beta for the shields, it's probably going to stay around. Yeah. I think, it, I don't know, it'll, it'll somehow make the community a little bit stronger. 
So it's, it's definitely going to be Sweat City, and I was just thinking about it too. Like, oh, it's going to be so hard to get a win, get a win in this new mode. Yeah. So what was the new mode? It's a uh, hold on. I see. It's a. Uh, it was like a little bubble that you go into without any health or shields, and it regenerates you while you're in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's then, called the uh, flash points. Flash points, and you can't heal anywhere else, right? You can only heal and shit in there. Yeah. So that's basically yeah. the safe zone to do all the potion. Yeah, that's definitely going to be interesting. I'm excited for it. Um. It's 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 just a new thing, a content that's just gonna put it a step further in the right direction because these past couple of uh, weeks have just been extremely dry on Apex and uh, you know practically unplayable. Yeah. So I think this um, one's gonna be. I think this mode is gonna bring a lot of um, a lot of more intense fighting because there's gonna be a lot of squads fighting for that area to heal. So it's gonna to, be to pretty go good. and heal, yep, yep. I, I, ooh, I was thinking the exact same thing. I was like, "What is it? It's just like a thing." I was like, "Well, that's there's no point if you have to go heal." Um, but yeah, that's a very interesting mode. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to more modes. Uh, I'm not really interested in the dummy mode. I mean, those are all season yeah. five, four, you know, ish type of stuff. Uh, I'm looking more forward to like the. Always having your ultimate ready, no matter what. Uh, be cool, yeah. Being able to have multiple legends, that'd be cool. Or um, something, something like, uh, yeah, just something, something different where they could just make the game a lot funner and just for content purposes. Even if people complain, you got to give people a, just a different change of pace. And remember that it's a limited time mode, and it, it's not like it's ranked or something, you know? Yeah. You know, I think they were recycling those modes just because they were trying to develop this uh, crossplay. So, yeah, yeah. I, that, I think that's why they, they focus more of their time on on the crossplay and getting everything done, and they just recycle the modes. And then they were like, "Oh fuck it, okay, we're done. Let's right. launch a new mode." Right. So hopefully that I was tell the you, case. They were, fall, they were falling behind, bro. It was just like, yeah. you know, because uh, and then we can go on on to our next topic. We were playing Call of Duty like excited we weren't even winning and we were like oh my this is so exciting and different and yeah. um so speaking of that they dropped season six we talked about the trailer last podcast uh but we do have uh an actual review for you guys because me and silencer have played a couple games uh i played a few games with cuz lightyear his nephew i played with dill um so we can talk about things uh, first things first, subway system. Silencer, how do you feel about it? They were trash. Uh, extremely trash. I think it was uh, a good it thing for fast rival. They yeah, they hyped it a lot, and it was it wasn't exactly what they were selling, if that makes sense. The thing that that um, when I fucking got on it for the first time, and the thing that I looked at the screen, I was like, "Are you fucking serious?" Was the the blackout screen to go to the next location like to, to the next yo, location the rather yeah, than it so just stupid. taking you rather than it just taking you and you can see out the window heal and stuff yeah yeah it's Dumb it's, it's completely like it's cool for fast travel i've used it many times um it's unreliable as most subway systems if you've ever been in new york you should know exactly <laughs> what i'm talking about um it's it's unreliable it was like first it would do like a couple couple seconds but when it when it's in the storm uh it was like 30 seconds 20 seconds it was just really high times to wait for the train um in addition to um people were, were actually sitting on the train and moving and moving and moving and never got off the train and they ended up winning a couple games not leaving the train wow and they We're were like go. in the storm and stuff damn so, like, you could, they actually won a couple games. They fixed it real quick, but a couple people got some free wins. I'm pretty sure there's a YouTube video somewhere where somebody's just going off, you know, yeah. out surviving people in the train. Uh, I didn't like that, the, the animation that you said, the black screen. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was, a, it was trash. Um, they said something about if you shot, it would skip a station. That's not necessarily true. Um, 
they just close the doors. You can't get out. You can't stop the train. And uh, it'll take you to the station. And other than that, for fast travel, um, mm -hmm. it's pretty good. But if you're playing with randoms, these dumbass randoms that just uh, break off and do whatever, one minute they're mm -hmm. in downtown, the next one they're in Promenade uh, West or whatever. And it's like, dude, like we're in two different spots, like literally far. And yeah. if you go down, you're going to leave. And if I go down, I know you're not going to get me. And that's going to suck. So, uh, the next thing that we were going to talk about was uh, the OP Marksman rifle, the SPR. Have you seen the video? I saw the video, but I, had, I didn't get a chance to um, to use it. So, I've used it. Uh, the, the most overpowered, right? The most overpowered um, gun in the game right now. It could actually shoot through brick walls. And oh. uh, a lot of people were actually using it. Uh, coupled with the, um, the the grenade that you throw that gives away your location. What is it called? I don't know what it's called. Snapshot? The snapshot grenade. They were using that, and they were shooting people through walls, and it just was completely unfair. And yeah. uh, it's game-breaking at this point. I used it. Um, right now, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you have it 100% modded with the double XP, the... Um, what else is it? The double XP weekend and stuff like that. And you go into the shipment or whatever on multiplayer. You could probably get it 100%ed uh, super fast. But the gun itself was extremely terrible. And it makes you just want to be on the subway, to be honest with you. <laughs> it makes you just want to <laughs> stay down there and be like, all right, bro, they can't shoot through this damn train. It's cool. Yeah, that's true. Fucking safe zone. So what are your overall thoughts on the the season and stuff are you still having fun playing warzone or what's uh what's going through your mind there it's it's fun as far as the season i just felt like it didn't really make a difference from the little things they added um mm -hmm. the subway is just i don't know honestly something useless to me right that th didn't need to be released and hyped up as something like oh it's gonna be a fucking game changing when the reality is just fucking stupid yeah, it's not as game-changing as they promised. I, I could see it being for the uh, fast travel, uh, yeah. getting to one place to another a lot faster than you would get on car or uh, helicopter. But it's definitely just like, eh, like, was it really necessary like to like fade it out and stuff? Like, It could have been better if it was a mobile train where you can shoot out and do mm -hmm. stuff. It, it could have been a lot better, but I, I see what they did. Just wish it was a little bit you know, better. More interactive. Rather than more, just fucking get on it. More interactive. Yeah. More Overall, interactive. I don't know, it's, uh, season six is just, for me, it just feels the same. It still has its fun parts. Yeah. Um, but it definitely didn't bring new excitement to where it's like, oh fuck yeah, this shit's fucking nice. Yeah, I think I think for me it was like um, the, the subway system, and like the music that they put in. They're putting in copyrighted music while you're driving the cars and you can play like a DMX uh, Rough Riders <laughs> anthem or uh, Jack Harlow or some other guy's song. And it's like, man, bro, like you play this on stream, instant copyright strike. Unless there's some type of licensing deal uh, where if you're playing this game in this little segment, maybe it's cool. Yeah. Um, who knows? But it's like, man, I, I saw that and I was a little bit hurt. And now when you play with everybody, they're bumping DMX and they drive by and they shoot you bumping some DMX and it's like, damn, bro, like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking get shot in style. Yeah. I still haven't gotten my first win and uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, you know, we can get it tonight if you play. We'll see. It's hoping been kind of we weird, our, yeah. Our first W. It's been a little, a little, a little difficult. Everybody's been uh, extremely good. Can't tell if they're hackers or if they're truly gifted and skilled and well hung in the oh, we uh, just game. Out. Yeah. <laughs> or our skill just uh, dropped down. <laughs> nah. I, I know. I, I told Cuz Lightyear, I was like, damn, bro. I was like, I'm not hitting like I used to hit. He's like, bro, you're just getting old. And I was like, fuck, bro. Like, that's fucked up to say. <laughs> I'm not even that old, though. The fucking reaction time. Is that the reaction. Working? It's just because we were playing Apex. We'll get over there. We'll get over there. We'll get a W. I've been fixing my yeah. classes. I might put this uh, <laughs> SPR rifle and just start clapping cheeks there. <laughs> so... They drop season six. You have, uh, you have Warzone. You know, adding things, uh, trying to make things different. You have Apex Legends, uh, adding things, trying to do the same. 
Uh, let's go back to when me and you were talking about a certain game called Hyperscape and uh, how we thought it was extremely trash. Uh, it was uh-huh. unplayable. Remember, we you, you played it once Very. and you deleted it off your damn system. We never After even got to minutes, make a video. I, After like like two, two, three matches, it lasted like 10 minutes. Okay? I fucking did that shit. So Ubisoft right now is overhauling the game after three months of its launch. So they're going to be working on the animations. Uh, They're going to do something with um, challenges, tutorials. Uh, They're just giving it a whole facelift like Spider-Man. And I wanted to tell you, if they did do this and you played it again... Uh, could this be, if they fix the things that you liked, could you see yourself playing this game over again? Yeah, I mean, they have to fix that bullshit, but see, I wasn't wrong. There there was a bunch of console players that were fucking complaining and their, yeah. and their, their installation rate and uninstalling rate fucking shot up, so mm-hmm. they yeah. wouldn't have decided to do an overhaul if they weren't performing well on PC, I mean, on console. Because on PC, on PC, I'm pretty sure it's performing good. But just not on console. Just with their their shooting and tracking systems, trash. Yeah, I don't see any um, any hype about uh, this game at all. And to be honest with you, it's even like um, I haven't seen people make videos or stream about this. this since game, they, huh? Yeah, since the beta, bro. I think it's like just unplayable uh, at the point. Uh, Crown Rush, it's, it's not really such a, a good thing. Um, the size, the, the remotes, the, the respawn things were like really terrible. Um, I, I hope that the, the game could try to like entice us, bro, to stick around a little bit longer, but to be honest yeah. with you, they just, they need to overhaul some stuff and, uh, ask the fans exactly. Like, what don't even want? sit there. Yeah. Don't even sit there and, oh, we got to work on our weak points. Know what your weak points are without, you know, yeah, you got data from certain people. Know the weak points by asking the fans, not the streamers, the fans of the game that actually like your stuff. Because let me tell you, the graphics looked amazing. Uh, the gameplay was just e- extremely trash. Yeah, and I don't know. I, the, the, I didn't like the movements. The biggest thing of mine was the movement. Right. It just it just felt... I don't know. It didn't, the feedback you got, it didn't really feel... Um, I don't know. It just didn't feel right. It just felt like something was missing. Yeah, I just it, you know, it was it was more than just like the the game itself. It was like it was too hard to aim. Uh, the track was you know tracking was terrible. Um, the Damaging damage, players, too, yes, the damage, bro. The damage was so ass. Like you 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 have the little mini gun, bro. You'd mess them up. You'd power slam on them, and then they'd shoot you one time with some little rifle, and it'd be like, <laughs> oh, you're done, bro. Yeah, so dumb. Yeah, so uh, I was excited to hear that with you. So hopefully that they do something. Uh, I haven't deleted it off my system, so hopefully I get a nice 250 gigabyte update from them, and uh, we'll see how how playable it is from then. Yeah, we'll play it again. Hopefully they fix all the bullshit. Yeah, they'll fix it. Don't worry. I'm I'm just excited that they heard it and they're attempting to fix it. If they don't, you know, if they don't listen or whatever, that's on them. But at least at least that they switched the game. Because they yeah. had something there. They had something. It just wasn't what they thought. They had something, though. They have something. So we'll keep a, a few eyes out. And um, another thing that I saw was uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, yeah. uh, listen, when I went to my GameStop and they told me that this might not be uh, next-gen dropped on launch day, I was a little bit yeah. disappointed. And uh, it seems like they won't even be dropping on their release date if the stories are true. Uh, Cyberpunk devs break promise will force employees to work six days a week up until their November 19th release. Uh, Silencer, your company is in charge of making a very popular game. Uh, COVID's happening. You're, wor- you're telling people to work six days a week until the game drops. So we're in October. That's about uh, – that's actually a lot of days, actually. It's a little bit over a month, uh, six days straight. Uh, how many people do you think are going to be quitting because of this? 
Uh, it depends how loyal they are, honestly. Uh, Loyalty. I'll, me as a as a as a business owner, I would enforce them, but I would be like, hey, you know, we have a deadline. If you stick around, I'll make sure um, to reward everybody. But then again, every boss is different, you know. It's right. just about how the employees see their boss. Um, if they don't get along, I'm pretty sure they're gonna start complaining, be like, nah, fuck you, blah blah blah. We quit. Good luck on your stupid game. Right. <laughs> Just fucking not do it, but I don't know. That's it's uh, it's it's something to force a worker to fucking release something. You know, it's with the with the COVID bullshit. I just feel like the CEO or or the studio should have been more like, okay, well, let's try and take it easy so we can do it right. Because this also, you know, if they force them, the developers can become tired. It's gonna be a forced game, and then the content can be rushed which can equal to um glitches or other kinds of bullshit, marker. bugs you know it's a a bunch of stuff yeah yeah so it's uh, i don't think it's the, the good move to rush you yeah you can't you can't rush art you can't do stuff like that um i like i said i understand from a deadline uh point of view but you're you're they might be working from home as well nobody wants yeah. to be at the computer at home for six days a week at working nonetheless you get what i'm saying yeah like yeah, even yeah. like even me when we're doing these like these little game sessions where we're playing for like four to eight hours no nah, that's like four days like four to six hours um man is it fucking exhausting just sitting on your fucking ass bro like yeah, just, yeah. just trying to like staring in front of a computer like last week you talked about your eyes hurting from this shit and yeah i can only imagine bro like how this is so yeah, I, um, but yeah, they're just forcing them to do that stuff, and uh, they're really working hard just to kind of address the remaining bugs and glitches. And uh, people have been working nights and weekends for like over a year. Uh, just, I I don't see it. I it was supposed to be back in um, April, the launch right, April sixteenth of this year, and they yeah. pushed it back to September seventeenth, and they pushed it back again to November 19th and I could even see them pushing it back until January 2021. Uh, if you think they're going to push it back again, uh, what's a, what's a date they, they probably shoot for? Um, sometime maybe in February. So quarter one still quarter one. Yeah. 21. I think yeah, that's a good, yeah, I think that's a good, um, a good call. Cause I don't know. Nothing comes out of Russian, Russian projects to be honest with you. Yeah. You just take it easy. Like, you know, um, Dying Light, they fucking delayed the fuck out of it, which was a good move because they felt like if they rushed it, they were going to give a game to their players that they weren't going to be happy with. So they said, we're going to delay it, sorry, but we're trying to give you a game that you're actually going to enjoy. So I think this developer, with all the hype that it has, I think they should uh, be careful. Yeah, you have Keanu Reeves. Like, they're probably just you know, tired of paying Keanu Reeves all this money. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, oh, when's the, when's the game dropping, guys? Uh, September 17th. Okay, I'll do a trailer, right? Yeah, yeah, you'll do a trailer. Hey, Keanu, <laughs> can't do that, bro. Like, bitch, just fucking put him mass, <laughs> give him his money and put him in the fucking Matrix already. For real. Well, it's this, already another This man is working out. on John Wick, the Matrix, and you're, you're over there complaining about you pushing your game back. Was, oh, my... Shit, yeah. <laughs> They're just tired of paying fucking Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's where the that's where all the that's why they gotta work six days a week, bro. Hey guys, we gotta make this game come out. We overpaid Keanu, <laughs> couple million. <laughs> we, we gotta get that back. Headshot. You gotta, fucking yeah, shit. we gotta make that back first first week, guys. Apologies. <laughs> Tell your loved ones we love we love them too. We'll send oh. them gift box. Listen, I'm excited to see how it goes. Are you getting the game? I thought maybe I've asked you that. Are you getting the game? I don't know. I have to see more videos, but for the looks of it, as it looks from the trailers and whatever, it's mm. like the type of game that I'm not gonna be so into. What? It's I, th I originally I thought it was gonna be like a a GTA Five. Um, I, I'm about to get into that too. Um, a GTA Five rival. Uh, but it's actually a yeah, first person type of like um, Duke Nukem type of shit. From the yeah, but from the um, 
from the trailers and the videos I've seen, it just feels really repetitive. That's right. the thing I don't like about games. It just feels like this thing where you're just gonna have to do the same shit over and over. The, yeah, the, the the environment and city they built looks awesome, but the gameplay just feels like it's gonna be repetitive in a way. Yeah, I could see it being repetitive. Um, I was thinking, I was hoping co-op with um, some type oh, yeah. of um, open world uh, multiplayer with, um, let's say, even a couple modes that you could probably do. I don't know. It's really getting to the point where it's it's. Uh, they need. They showed a, a gameplay trailer. The gameplay looked extremely interesting, uh, but I yeah. do want to see uh, a little bit more, like you said, before I pull the trigger on there, so to speak. And uh, but yeah, they're they're working on it, getting it done. But I I kind of thought quarter one would be the same. They uh, quarter one of 2021, they'd push yeah. it back. So, uh, knock on wood. <laughs> yeah. You don't you don't want to throw Keanu in a, another uh, five million. <laughs> I've already asked too much money. I know. He's just giving he me away. That shit. <laughs> so, you brought a topic, a very interesting topic. I'm going to let you introduce it. Since we were kind of talking about this game, uh, introduce it, and you know we'll 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 see where where you're going with this. So, a former Rockstar game employee has raised some money to build his own game that he wants to so the goal of this game that he's going to build his goal is to destroy the gta franchise so okay. gta 5 like it's not already destroyed or the next uh, the next no the one? next gta 6 so gta basically. 6 okay not bully though right yeah. no he just focused on destroying gta so the reason i think behind this from some people that i've read online from the story is that this guy saw the success of the online GTA and he wanted to incorporate more content. And the and the other people at Rockstar said, you know what? No, we want to focus and steer out of the online stuff and focus on, you know, uh, campaign modes and a good storyline. And then so they started arguing, blah, blah, blah. And then they fire. His name is Leslie Benzie. Something like that. Right. So they fire him. So I guess that's where his vengeance comes in. And he's like, okay. And keep in mind that this guy was one of the ones who built and helped uh, design the whole GTA franchise. Right. So for him to be like, okay, let me just stick it to the, to the guys and I'm going to build my own game and try and take them down. It's uh, it's powerful vengeance. So how much he money did, did he get? He has right now raised, I think, forty-two million. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be a crazy game. But it's uh, for what it seems, it seems like it's some kind of space game that's gonna be related to. So, I don't know, but I think it's gonna be still a long, long development time. So we won't see it in a couple of years. Yeah, it's, it sounds interesting. So is this? So it's, is it supposed to be like um, Saints Row in space, or just like its own little <laughs> entity? It's just yeah, it's its own little. I don't know from what it from what he from what I've read. It's just a little entity that it's just gonna be open world experience in space. Maybe some kind of um, exploration game that has action. Maybe. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. The game's called Everywhere. Yeah. So mm. it's. Uh, I don't know. It could be some kind of a mixture between GTA and uh, and space, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, GTA uh, and space. Uh, that'd be cool. Like, um, like um, I'm trying to figure out like a Guardians of the Galaxy type of like game. Yeah, that'd be build cool. Build a like, rocket. Yeah, build a rocket. Well, that's the that's the developer. So build a rocket, uh, boy games. Is the yeah. developer, but the game is called Everywhere. Everywhere with the three in the back. It's just a reverse. Oh, with me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this fool. <laughs> he said with the reverse three. Yeah, they they skipped part <laughs> one and they went straight to the part three. This fucking right. guy, it looks, Caesar. It looks, uh, it looks interesting. It, we'll see. Imagine out. doing drive-bys in space. 
<laughs> Headshots. <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> Headshot. I think they're going to build this um, more of a community type of game. Yeah, I can, so. see, I can see something like that popping off. Uh, definitely sounds interesting. Uh, will it rival GTA? I don't think so. It might rival um, maybe like online or, or stuff. But you have to uh, understand, too, that uh, GTA 5 has a juice right now. And uh, they dropped Red Dead. And Red Dead's not even that popping. And uh, they, they don't really even care about uh, GTA. Or I'm sorry. They don't even care about Red Dead as much as they do about GTA. Just because it makes so much money, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It could, it could be interesting, but I got I to gotta see more. Uh, but a uh, game, if you were to do it like GTA Online, uh, space, you have your own planet, you can build your own house and, and do all that type of stuff, your own, you know, spaceship and stuff. It could be very interesting. Um, I've been getting into those type of role-play games and that science outer space shit, that definitely yeah. is going to be like, you know, a, an open world like that, bro where it's, like, relatively huge and stuff, that's definitely eye-catching and sounds very exciting. So I can't wait to see the, anything more on it. We'll see, and hopefully in a couple of months, but I think it's going to be a, a year's worth of project. Because they still, they're still looking for fucking developers for all kinds of shit, so it's just an idea at the moment. So I'm going to estimate five to ten years, to be honest with you. Mm, oh, damn. Then, yeah, that, that might be interesting. Yeah, I can see them. I definitely taking five to ten, but with forty-two million, that that buys a lot of time. Uh, but with COVID yeah. and stuff, you know, that's definitely going to be hindering a little bit. But yeah, that sounds interesting. I'm glad you brought that to my attention. We'll see, see how it goes. See, you got to find topics too, bitch. That's a nice topic. <laughs> you read, you read it all nice and professional. You got your little podcast voice going. Look at you go. Headshot. Hello, guys. Look at you. Let's go. Let's go, silencer. Give me some chum chum, chum, chum. Me some we'll chum, chum baby. <laughs> we're well, listen. A fucking... a fucking guy. Listen, we're at the end of the podcast. Uh, is there anything you wanted to add? No, just... Uh, I'm excited for all these new games that are going to pop out on... Um, oh, this October. I'm waiting for a couple. And, um, yeah, we'll see for the new season how it is. And uh, that's it. Yeah, I'm working on some holo Halloween videos, guys. If you, uh... oh, you know what? Until um, make a little post, see how the people how they feel about the the audio and stuff, the drops. See how they feel. Yeah, about I'll definitely like put that out on a little poll. Yeah, for sure, especially with this. Um, I did, you know, we got the the production stepping up, guys. Uh, we're working on content. Uh, we're keeping it gaming relatively around everything. Uh, there's always room for improvement, guys. So that's where you guys come in. Let us know in the comment section, DMs, uh, Discord. A lot of people have been reaching out with questions and stuff. We'll get to a couple of them. i uh, just been waiting for the right time to do it because some of the questions that you guys ask are just repetitive and stuff. So you just got to listen to the uh, older oh, episodes that we drop. Some of them are just stupid questions, you know. So, <laughs> uh, but is there anything that you wanted to add, Silencer? No, that's it. That is it for me, buddy. Well, with that being said, guys, I'm going to leave you with my last little bit of words, okay? If you get fired by a gaming company, you start your own. <laughs> 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 and take them down. <laughs> and with that being said, guys, because they are also going to be throwing intentional strays. <laughs> and with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I am Killing Spree 37. And I am Silencer. I'm out! Killing spree! 37! The champion of the world! Killing spree! 37!